This tutorial will cover advanced segmentation. We assume that you have started with a regular anatomical VMR. You've gone through the steps for automatic and homogeneity correction. If you've not done this, you can access this via volumes and then homogeneity correction. The defaults here are completely fine and this will handle skull stripping and will correct for our inhomogeneities in the grey and white matter. Uh, we're assuming you've converted this into Talarac space. We will start with this Talarac VMR. So what you need to do is click on Volumes Advanced Segmentation Tools. We want to upscale this VMR to 0.5 millimeter resolution. This will prompt a window to open up where we can save this new file. And what you get is this larger looking brain. So for this we will need our 3D volume tools window. And what we want to do first is just save a new version of this window of this file because we're going to be uh, drawing on it. So we go to the 3D volume tools and go into our segmentation tab. We change the minimum value to one, the maximum to 10, and the new value to 255, which corresponds to weight. We click on one of our ventricles and click grow region. Click on the next ventricle, grow region. Uh, repeat this process for each ventricle. And when we've grown this new white color in each ventricle, we want to change the maximum to 20 and click expand. This will just expand this white color. Increase the maximum to 30 and repeat. Increase it to 40, expand again. Increase it to 50, click expand. Then we want to jump up to a maximum of 100 and hit expand twice. And this will fill in the ventricles with this white color. If we go to our advanced segmentation tools window, we want to label this as white matter. And the result will look something like this. We can then remove the cerebellum. And what we want to do here is just check that the cerebellum removal tool hasn't removed any of the cortex. So this looks fine. We can go to our white matter, gray matter border tab and to do segmentation, Brain Voyager needs to calculate these magnitude and gradient files. Once these are calculated, they're saved, we can now go to our segmentation part of this tab. So the defaults here are typically fine. We can hit go. And what it will do is it will try to color in the white matter with a, a blue coloring. If you find that it colors in the gray matter too much, you can adjust these values. So we want to check that it's not colored in the gray matter too much. This looks pretty good. Now we want to polish this. So we're incorporating the green boundaries into the blue coloring. And for this, we want to change the number of smooth border steps to two and click polish. Now we can go into the next tab in our segmentation tools. And the next button we want to click is the dilate to CSF. And this marks the gray matter with the green coloring. And now we want to enclose the histogram window. Now we want to polish this. And what it creates is this brain and grayscale, the two gray colors. We can go to our hemisphere window and click disconnect. And this creates both a left and right hemisphere VMR. We can close our windows and close the tabs we've been working on. If we go to open, we can see that Brain Voyager has created both the left and right hemisphere VMR. So we can open up one of these. We'll open up the left. And it looks something like this, this uh, blue and blue brain with yellow border. For the next step, we will need our 3D tools. Um, specifically the segmentation tab, if you go into options, there's a, an option for bridge removal. And for this, it needs a source file. So it needs a, a file containing intensity values. And the one we want to give it is the one we labeled with underscore WM. So this will be the high resolution VMR with the cerebellum removed. 
Next we want to estimate values for grey matter, white matter and our threshold. Once we have these values, we can click go. And this process will take some time. Once it's complete, what you will find is you have the original and a new version with the bridges removed. If you go into file and click on VMR properties, you'll see that it hasn't carried the VMR properties over to the new newly created file. So what we want to do is we want to just copy these over by inputting them manually. We want to just double check that these are correct. You can see that this part is wrong, so we'll change that. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Now we want to save the new file so that these values are saved. And now what we can do is we can close the original, hold in shift and click the top right button in Brain Voyager. This will open up this create mesh window and we can reconstruct this left hemisphere mesh. You'll get something like this. This mesh we want to then save. Typically, we'll save it with the subject ID, which hemisphere it is, and the extension underscore Rico for reconstruction. So we'll save this. Next, we want to smooth the mesh. So if we click the button directly under the previous one, it'll smooth our mesh out for us. Then we can go into meshes and apply some background and coverage colors. So the number of smooth steps for this high resolution mesh is about 20. And we get this lovely looking mesh. We want to save this. So we can just add SM to the end of our previous file name for smooth. The next step is we want to inflate this mesh. So we can zoom out a little bit, go to meshes, mesh morphing, and click on the inflation mode. The number of iterations we need for this high resolution mesh is about 2000. Once it's complete, it will look a little like this. We can spin it around to make sure everything looks okay. You can see it's a little pinched where the, the ventricle was at the back there. But that shouldn't be a problem for our, our intended use. So we'll save this new mesh. We'll give it the extension underscore INF for inflated. Let's save that. What we can do now is we can close these tabs, open up our Talarak VMR, and we can open up our new mesh. And if we were doing some analysis using our Talarak VMR and some Talarak VTCs, we could then put those statistical maps onto our newly created mesh. And you can repeat these steps for the right hemisphere so you have both an inflated mesh for the left and right. 